My dad worked for alcohol beverage control in Kentucky. He was in a caravan of three officers, and my dad um, radioed to the other officers that he was going to make a traffic stop. He pulled out a gun and fired three shots. The third shot made it underneath my dad's arm um, and into his heart and lung. Initially, when I opened the door, I thought um, they were, we had just started attending a new church, and I thought they were pe people from the church stopping by, and I thought, oh gosh, I'm going to have to make some coffee, and Jack, you know, my friend's supposed to be here in a couple hours, and, um, you know, and then they delivered the news. A horrible act that would change the course of their lives forever. Alcohol, beverage, and control agent Brandon Thacker passed away on April 16, 1998, from the injuries he sustained in the line of duty. He now rests in the Richmond Cemetery in Madison County, Kentucky. I didn't want this to be our whole story. I didn't want a tragic event to be, you know, what defined us. And um, so I wanted to make sure to build a life for me and Catherine that continue to have laughter and singing because that's, you know, um, that's a lot of what our relationship was. Catherine's joy would come in the art form of figure skating a sport that she competes in to this day. Stepped on the ice for camp one summer and nothing could ever make me quit. I loved the feeling of being on the ice, loved the feeling of setting goals and being able to achieve them. Ice was a safe place for me. And it also taught me a lot of lessons about confidence and leadership. There's a lot of trial and error in skating, but through that it leads to resilience and then success. And while figure skating was an outlet, her mom became her focus watching and supporting her mother become a prominent voice for families of fallen officers. My mom is incredible. You know, she was reaching out to these survivors who were going through similar um, experiences that she had faced. And each time, I think she kind of had to relive, you know, her emotions, her pain. Um, but she did that for the good of those people, to show them hope and to encourage them and say, you know, look, here I am. I'm okay, you're gonna get through this, it's gonna be all right. And like her mom, Catherine has found her own role in helping heal the families of the fallen, a beautiful tribute known as Words of Worth. Around Christmas time each year, we have students at Liberty and faculty members come and they write cards to families who have lost an officer in the line of duty in the past year. Every word and every sentence that's written on this paper I know you know, has a tremendous impact on, on the families who are receiving the cards. People care about, about what, what my father did. You know, he put his life on the line um, in order to protect other people. And there's officers every single month who are, are dying, and they're dying trying to protect people in their communities. It's important to say that we're thankful for, for their job and for the you know, time that they took away their, from their family to protect us. American writer Ellen G. White once said, A Christian reveals true humility by showing the gentleness of Christ, by being always ready to help others, by speaking kind words and performing unselfish acts.